are back for the next mission of Deep Six on the Resident Evil Operation in Raccoon City. I said Deep Six instead of Echo Six. Must be thinking of G.I. Joe. Mission is called I Know I Now Know Why You Cry. Echo Six has discovered intel indicating the presence of a secret umbrella facility beneath the streets of Raccoon City. Their mission is to locate the facility's hidden entrance. Alright, hopefully we can hopefully we can get enough uh, experience to unlock this next. That just looks awesome. Not much for accuracy, but then again I very seldom use the Ravager for long range. It's more my spay, spray and prey weapon. I've adjusted the sound again. I feel like I'm getting a little better as it goes along. For anyone who happened to watch the previous part, I do apologize for the incredibly loud voiceover parts from the NPCs and for the alarms. Echo 6, based on that map you accessed at City Hall, we believe that Umbrella's facility is buried deep under Raccoon City. Get into the sewers and see if you can find any access routes to it. Well, yeah, Commander, of course it's buried under the city. Oh, look, cut content. If it were in the clouds, we would be in Bioshock land. That's something that I'd like to do in the future. I'd like to do a Bioshock playthrough. Just run through them all. Chopper that Nikolai shoots down? No, Nemesis. <clears throat> I get the feeling we're going to have to go and uh, rescue those guys. Probably have to rescue her too, and him. <laughs> it looked like an effect from Star Trek, the original series. I mean, it, it wasn't god awful, but it was kind of campy and fun. Come on, they helped us. We must return the favor. Okay, make it quick. This is not your objective. Man, there's just a lot of cutscene things happening all around me. I, I feel like I'm just really spectating here, guys. I know I'm horrible, but... I feel like I should be just more actively engaged in what's going on. Oh, Probably should have been that sick refill. Of the uh, level 
level does Oh, oh, no, okay. I was about to say, I don't know if this familiarity of level does that. No, this is going into the chapel. This is the same layout that we uh, that we went through in our other campaign. Space break. Look guys, those microfusion lamps are still here. At least it looks like we put something real in them instead of the pea that uh, children put in the nucleus. Player piano. I, I'll admit, if I had the space, I would like to have a player's piano. Because I'm... I've attempted to play musical instruments in the past, but I'm incredibly tone deaf. I can read the music. I can physically what happened? perform the proper She's functions. But in terms of actually being able to hear the difference in notes and tones, I, Take I, off. We will cover you. I, I just can't do it. Thanks. Everything. Good luck. All the music sounds very two-dimensional to me. Music should be three-dimensional experience, like ocean currents. I'm honestly surprised uh, if you happen to be a uh, youth nemesis in the short main game. If you happen to be... Oh, that was bad. One of the eight people that saw my video where I changed my aquarium around. I used to set the size of the program to perform that musical arrangement myself. It, it was that's when a that's when a dodge was you know, I mean it was kind of that. I don't think I could make it at all. Oh, thank you guys. Oh no. Uh, for that particular video, I actually managed to create that music on a loop. Uh, I thought of sounds. If I'm not mistaken, if we had the Queen with us, she's the demolition expert, she can actually blast this open. Shoot me! Strategy. I don't want to hate. This level almost feels like it was going to be. We got creatures above us and on our place. Oh no, not creatures. More creatures. You know what? I'm going to take the cows away. Float the rain. Yeah, I, I had. Oh no, no, God no. But in that particular video, I, hey, shoot down the zombie. I managed to.
random press. I'm out. You know, like, like I said, only maybe at the time of recording this, only maybe eight to nine views have actually been registered on that video. But I'm really proud of it. You know, my, my fish are my pets. They've all got their own unique personalities. They keep the company. Uh, there are a bunch of bug holes. Believe it or not, that aquarium has had a grand hole in its mouth. Well, that was just a rough transition. Almost gave me whiplash. See, here, here's another example. I believe I mentioned this in an earlier playthrough. We had the demolitions expert and they failed to blast the grates. This is a, an example. A uh, grenade won't do it, I don't believe. I'll, I'll waste a grenade to test it, but I don't think it's going to blast that open. Nope. So, if you happen to be playing this, uh, unless you're just committed to the particular lineup that I like to run, or the demolition that's part of this mission. Anyway, yeah, my, my aquarium, <coughs> believe it or not, those, those eight, possibly seven, I have to say, oh man, oh no, come on, oh no guys, I flunked it, um, yeah, there might be one less, I haven't seen the eel in a couple of weeks, but it tends to stay hit, the blood parrots, uh, as a cichlid, they, although one of the tamer cichlid hybrids, they still have their aggressive tension. So, pretty much anything that's small enough for them to fit in their mouth, they will eat. That tank is the end result of about 60 different organisms that's been cycled through there. But I, I very seldom have anything die of natural causes. I, I've yet to have anything die of old age other than uh, other than the anchor fish. <coughs> That one, I unfortunately, I don't have any, any videos of that one. It, it was one of my favorites, one of the first ones I got. Uh, I think now, in the time, the only thing original that I've got left is the, the large blood pair. She's my album. Uh, also, the reason that I originally bought the thing. Honestly, if she were to die, I would, I would be more of her. You know, like a family member. I've known that fish for a little bit more years now. Right? And, uh, well, I'm hoping that we can get them close to another day here, because in captivity, the blood parrot hybrid is able to live up to 15 years. <laughs> if you have a hit on those, this is a final little public service announcement. Do not buy a sweetheart parrot. They are oftentimes sold uh, around Valentine's Day, sometimes Easter. Normally, not at any large supplier now, since uh, it's kind of come out what they are. But smaller independent pet shops will still carry them. Sweetheart parrots are simply blood parrots that have had their tails circuitly removed. 
I'm sure you can imagine it's not done with anesthesia considering you can buy these fish for six dollars each. So there's no anesthetic involved. Um, probably not much in the way of actual anti-infection medication or sterilization. It's likely just some little clandestine fish meal, fish meal, excuse me, M-I-L-L, -L, the accent, somewhere that's breeding these fish and then just taking a pair of scissors and sniffing the tail. Watch out! Get away from it! Watch out! Uh, blood parrots are beautiful, fun, wonderful hybrids, but uh, sweetheart parrots are the result of cruel changes. Uh, they're forcibly modified surgically. It's, it's not right. If you happen to come across a store that has them, I would, uh, I would report them to animal control. Uh, possibly even the police. I'm not sure if it's their jurisdiction, but I'm certain animal control can point you in the right direction. And if you do that, when the officers come to seize the fish, offer to uh, offer to take them. I don't know if they will allow you, but unfortunately, I I, I would lay money that they would be destroyed. After being, uh, after being seized, uh, just because of how they, uh, how they were raised, doesn't mean that they deserve to die. Reloading. Am I working at? Open fire. Okay. Go down here, guys. Uh, that's, that's my little open service for the evening. We'll get back to the gang here. Uh, I'm going to float before I get in there. It would probably go wrong if I did. That had every I don't believe that's an assault shotgun. Oh, I can't pick up the rocket launcher. I want my rapid. Alright. I would pick up that rocket launcher, but considering the grenade launcher would refill ammo. The ammo boxes, I believe that one is too. Nice. Disable Nemesis. We need another plan. Under Echo the principles. Your current location places and then, you in the of steel. I don't think I'm going to get it. That's, uh, that's pretty extremely good. Uh, 
now if you'll excuse me, I'm kind of lost. I need to get down there to DA. The old Dumbledore's on. Oh no, are they down there? Oh no, they're all down. Oh, close. actually pulled that one out from disaster. Since this particular game has taken place in an alternate timeline, I would have really liked to have seen another mission with, uh, with Nemesis mutating from that damage. Because the, uh, that's some, oh no. Ooh. That's somewhere on par with the sort of damage he sustained in the, the Dead Factory in uh, Resident Evil 3. I don't think we got enough experience points for that type right now. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's alright. I may, I may run a quick mission off camera just to get that. I think, the, uh, I think the first Echo 6 mission only took me 20 minutes. I, I may just do that to get the typewriter. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.